All right, this is going to be a part two of what's in the box. This is the first video. It's put up there uh, December of 2008. Now we're going to take a look and see what is actually in the box. Individually look at the switches. Okay, I previously um, sorted the switches into various piles. Uh, some switches were not uh, radioactive at all. There's pro approximately four of those. But uh, the rest, uh, this is the hottest, uh, medium, and then these had the lowest. Um, the ones that uh, were not hot at all, I disassembled. Uh, they sacrificed themselves to see if I can get that little bead off the tip of the, uh, the toggle switch off. It wasn't too successful. But uh, we'll test these. So here's the probe I'm going to be using. The uh, E9 HP 260, and then uh, this will be the meter E9 RM14, and it's just uh, getting background right now times 100. Okay, this is the the least radioactive switch. thousand counts per minute. Let's try another one. Here's one of the uh, intermediate switches. And these are uh, just a little bit hotter. They're right about uh, 20,000 counts per minute. 200 times the uh, times 100, 20,000. This is the hottest switch of the whole batch. There's one in this. Tops out right about 28, maybe 30,000 cups per minute. It's only one of the effects that's just hot. And here's the, the test setup. Um, switch is sitting on a little tin of bell toys. Not touching the probe. Just a couple centimeters away, like that. And then, uh, Again, this is the hottest one. I put 32,000 costumes in it. And this is the way I test it all again. Right, let's put that angle in there. There's a gap there, it's not touching it or anything. About a couple centimeters away. Okay, this is a close up of the switch. The little uh, radium bead, a little glass bead, it looks like. Uh, painted uh, bead radium on the tip of the switch this is normal uh, normal indoor light combination of tungsten fluorescent light here in the uh, the office room turn off the light and uh, I'm going to bring the black light up there and you can see it glowing away and then under uh, 366 nanometer ultraviolet. Should be able to see that. It's kind of just like a cream buff colored uh, light. And then it's a uh, typical green, kind of a devilish green glow. Kind of pretty. <laughs> 